Are you going to make amazing experiments to entertain your friends? We'll make a few of the most popular ones to test their safety level. We'll learn what we can safely do at home and what we should never try alone. Sand is normally used to stop the fire. We'll make it burn. Do you think it's possible? Place sand in a bowl. Pour on some gasoline. Take a spoonful of soda and two spoons of sugar. Sprinkle on the sand. Set on fire. The burning soda and sugar look like lava during a volcano eruption. The lava is gradually changing its shape. It's different every moment. Could you imagine that soda and sugar could transform into such an incredible monster? Are you impressed? We are! But keep in mind, the materials are flammable. Use caution when working with them. Better try the experiment outdoors away from dry grass. We'll continue playing with fire. Make a burning heart and phrase. Take a wood board wrapped in foil and hand sanitizer. Pour it on the foil. Try to make an image or a phrase. Light the heart. The sanitizer contains alcohol. That's why the heart starts burning. The blazing phrase is very impressive. Have you seen a flame held in someone's hands? We've tried to repeat the trick. It's actually possible, but just for one or two seconds, not more. If you hold it any longer, you risk getting burnt. We don't recommend performing it alone, and don't do it inside either. Let's test an experiment with colored bubbles and gas. We've dissolved a little food coloring in water. Put in some dish soap. Mix well. Take butane gas. Submerge it under the solution and press. A white cloud of soapy bubbles appears, though it's neither colored nor exciting. It's another dull experiment that's not worth making. It's time for changing colors. Watch magic color transformations. Let's check how safe it is. Take three flasks with water. Let's see what there is in our medicine cabinet. Take Carbol Fusion, also called Ziel Nelson's or Castellani's paint. You can buy it in a drugstore. Be careful not to spill it out. It's impossible to wash it out of fabric. Use a syringe to avoid sprinkling or take a dropper. Color the water. Pour brilliant green in another glass. It turns light blue in the water. Add methylene blue to the third flask. It makes water deep blue. So we've got three liquids, light blue, red, and deep blue. Take ammonia. Be very careful not to breathe in the strong fumes from the ammonia. Use a mask. Add it into each flask. Now, watch the transformation. Each liquid starts changing color. The dark blue becomes green. The red turns clear. The light blue appears lighter. The deep blue liquid keeps green. The red one is still clear. And the blue waters turned cloudy. Finally, we've got this color transformation. The color changing trick is less hazardous than the fire or gas experiments. However, use caution when working with ammonia. Don't breathe it in. And be careful not to spill out the chemicals. They can leave indelible stains on clothes or furniture. Can you light a candle with smoke? Do you think it's impossible? It isn't, though you'll have to make a number of attempts. Blow out the candle and light the wispy trail of smoke. Once again, we've managed after a few vain attempts. The explanation is easy. The flame of a lit wick vaporizes the candle wax surrounding it, giving off heat and light. When we blow out a candle, the smoke from the smoldering wick still has some wax in it and this wax hasn't been fully burned. If you light this smoky trail quickly enough after blowing out the candle, the wisps will reignite and carry the reignition down to the wick. 
And the candle is aflame again. What is it? A burning dollar? How much money should we have to use to make such a foolish experiment? Oh, what's happened? Is it safe? How is it possible? Take rubbing alcohol and water in equal proportions. Submerge any paper money in the solution. Soak it well. Take out with tweezers and let it drain. Ignite it. The flame engulfs the note in a moment. It's a great trick. The money is kept safe and secure. The flame we can see is burning alcohol. That's why it flared up and went out quickly as soon as the alcohol burns off. The water covering the note secures it from the flame. The experiment is exciting, but dangerous. Another incredible experiment is one of the most amazing. Just imagine a gorgon head with crawling snakes on it. Ugh! Take a fuel tablet. Place four pills of calcium gluconate on it. You can buy it in a drugstore. Ignite the fuel. Watch the chemical enormously turning in growing foam. It bends and curves like a tangle of snakes. It's quite thrilling. It looks like a snake monster crawling around. The experiment is entertaining, but we don't recommend doing it inside. It's hazardous to breathe in the chemical vapors that the smoke contains. And there's also the danger to light the dry grass outside. If you are under 16, perform the experiment under adult supervision. Let's test a favorite, Citrus Volcano. Press a lemon in your hand to make it produce juice. Slice the bottom off to sit flat. Now, slice it in half. Use a spoon to mush the center of the lemon and bring out the juices. Repeat for a lime. Pour a spoonful of blue food coloring on the lemon. Add red food coloring to the lime. Add a spoonful of soda into the lemon. You can watch the chemical reaction of citric acid and baking soda. The lime reaction is more intense, producing much more foam than the lemon. We managed to get a desirable effect only after a few attempts. We'll reveal the secret. We poured a citric acid solution over the lemon. If you want to entertain your friends, use this trick to get the best citrus volcano eruption. This color reaction lasts less than one minute. The volcano eruptions we made in our first chemical experiment video are much more amazing. Let's make another color transformation trick. Take a potato starch and iodine. Add the starch to water. Shake it well. Watch carefully. The brown iodine turns deep blue as soon as it mixes in the starch and water mixture. Shake it again. Cool! One of the most dangerous experiments in the compilation is a Coca-Cola trick. We strongly recommend performing it outdoors. Take a bottle of Coca-Cola. Pour it in a flask. Take chlorine powder. Use extreme caution when working with it. The smell is hazardous and disgusting. Make sure you don't breathe the fumes in. Don't touch the chemical either. Perform the experiment outdoors. Add chlorine to cola. Go away immediately. And what? Nothing happens. We've got nothing at all, even after shaking. The pool chlorine might have caused a reaction, but the chlorine powder had no effect. A DIY lava lamp is an amazing trick, and it's absolutely safe. Take a tall vase. Make the first level by adding blue food coloring in the water. Pour in a lot of ofoil. The liquids have different densities, so the colored water stays under the oil. Make another lava lamp using red food coloring. Add any effervescent tablets that dissolve fast when put in water. And the magic begins. The colored whorl is pushing bubbles through the surface. The blue and red bubbles of different sizes keep whirling in the oil. It seems that we will never stop watching them. The experiment is very beautiful and safe. The colored bubbles are cute and soothing. The invisible ink message is one of the safest tricks in our list. We'll need paper, milk, and a brush. Dip the brush in the milk and write down a message you want to conceal from others. 
Let only the recipient see it. Heat the paper when dry. You can use a candle or put it in the oven or cover it with a cloth and iron. The message is revealed. You can read it now. It's not hazardous. Just be careful when using a candle to heat the paper. If you are about to make a chemical experiment, keep in mind that each trick you watch on the internet can be unpredictable. Sometimes you should add some extra chemicals to get a better result. And sometimes you should use caution to avoid harming yourself or others. Subscribe and share with your friends. Give your thumbs up and click the bell. We are making a new video for you.